Hello everybody, my name is Sophia Malmberg and I am nine years old. Today I will be showing you one of my Greek projects that I have recently finished. I have made a um, temple of Zeus. Zeus was the king of all of the gods and he was one of the most mighty ones. My temple is located on a hill. Um, and my hill is made of styrofoam, um, of a styrofoam base. And the rocks um, are basically also made of styrofoam, so I had to use a special carving knife to carve the rocks into the styrofoam board. Um, I also uh, got um, these um, kind of rocks. Um, the medium sized ones from my garden, so they are um, real. And then um, the smaller rocks um, I got from a store called The Model Shop. And I also have some uh, mini grass patches that I also got from The Model Shop. Um, so I basically use some glue to stick them to my base. And um, these shrubs, um, I also use super glue to stick them to my base. And then I have some dried shrubs, like for example, right here. Um, and I decided to add them because uh, in ancient Greece uh, it was very hot, so I thought that there might be some dried uh, shrubs. And um, here is the staircase that leads um, up to the temple so if you wanted to enter um, um, you would walk um, up the staircase into the um, temple but it was actually mostly pilgrims that would walk up the staircase into the temple because um, they would bring offerings to the god Zeus so in order to make the staircase I had to use um, a special um, knife and I carved it into my styrofoam board. And next, I painted it in a sandy color. And afterwards, um, I used like a, a special sculpting tool and made these kind of lines to make it look like um, the staircase was made of rocks. Because in ancient Greece, um, they used um, rocks quite a bit in um, especially big structures like this. Next, um, this staircase is made of layers of cardboard. So first I stuck the first layer, which was the largest layer of cardboard, to the board. Um, then the medium sized one and then the smallest one. I had to first paint it in white and then once it was dried, I coated it with um, a sort of beige color. And I also used a special sculpting tool and made the lines um, over here to make it look like it was made from real rocks, just like I did to the staircase. Uh, my columns, they, were, they are made um, uh, by the 3D printer. So, um, yeah, basically I had to 3D print them and after I had to scrub off all the little um, bits of plastic uh, that were on the columns because when you 3D print sometimes there may be a few strings so I had to scrub them with a special scrub and then I had to coat them in white and after in um, beige and there are three different types of columns there are the Doric ones, the Ionian ones and the Corinthian ones so the Doric ones are the least decorated ones the Ionian ones are slightly more decorated and they have like sort of it looks like they have Ramses horns at the top and the Corinthian ones are the most decorated they have acanthus leaves so I decided to choose the Corinthian ones because um, since this is a god I wanted to make um, the columns look special so I decided to do the Corinthian style and here are the acanthus leaves on the top uh, so, I have five columns in the front and in the back, and 11 on this side and this side. 
So, um, you might be thinking why there are 11 on um, these sides. Well, that's because first you have to do 5 plus 5, which is the front plus the back, and that's 10. And then plus one more makes 11. And those are like the kind of proportions that the ancient um, Greeks used. Um, my roof... Um, it is a triangular sort of shape, and it's made of um, balsa wood. And I decided to choose balsa wood because I think it's um, an easy material to cut, and it's um, quite light. Um, so on the inside, this is how it looks. And um, also, the these are the tympanons. Um, there's one on each side. Uh, those I 3D printed and they're each showing a mythological scene. Like for example, um, this, one, this one, sorry, is showing a man riding a horse. Um, then I um, also added these on the sides. They're also made of balsa wood, um, just to support it a little bit and to um, make it um, a little bit nicer. And um, then I have my beams. So the beams are also made of balsa wood. And I decided to um, add them to the columns because it will stabilize them a little bit more. So like for example, if I shake one of them, they won't um, fall uh, down too easily. And, um, and th this is uh, my roof and it's um, made of um, terracotta tiles. So there were um, two types um, of roof material that the ancient Greeks would make their um, temple roof out of. So you could either use marble tiles or terracotta tiles. Um, so even though Zeus had the, the marble tiles, I decided to go with terracotta tiles um, because I think that um, they also look quite uh, nice. Then um, the eagles uh, are there because the eagle was one of the symbols of Zeus. Zeus had um, a pet eagle, so I decided to add them. So there's one on each side. Um, I also 3D printed them and then I painted them in a sort of sandy color. Okay, so now I will be showing you um, around the inside. So, on the inside there are quite a few things. First we have our statue of Zeus. Um, I 3D printed him and then I painted him. So he's holding um, his um, spear. And um, this um, statue was actually um colossal in reality so a person would be um super small compared to this i'm trying to make it um as big as i could um fit and then i have another statue this is a smaller um statue of zeus um i also 3d printed him and um i painted him though he isn't holding um a sphere and here we have some offerings that the pilgrims could have brought. Um, so here we have a golden pot, for example. Um, then we have the altar, and on top of that we have a bowl, which it has some small pieces of gold in it. And then we have a bigger bowl, and that one is filled with um, some golden coins. Next to that we have... a. Uh, a um, eternal fire. So basically the eternal uh, fire um, was lit day and night so um, the people would come and uh, light it all the time so it would never um, go out. So this is how it looked like. I hope you enjoy listening to my video about how I made um, my Temple of Seas and um, Bye for now.